right, man. I quite like it indeed. So how you doing guys? So recently I made this axe, yeah? So I ground it in, I got all of the work done on the axe head absolutely ages ago. Left it on me bedside table I think it was on the drawers in my bedroom and it's been on the drawers in my bedroom for years so I finally got a handle on it this axe head was the axe head that was originally on this handle well I just switched it over got it on made it look all pretty burnt the handle I think it's umami I might be wrong I think it's umami uh, burnt the handle gave it a quick sound got the most of it off uh, hit, a bit of a, hit it with a bit of ground oil I cannot speak I cannot speak yeah, so I made this quite cool, found a buyer for it pretty quickly, I think two days after I put it up I found a buyer. It's going to be mate, he wanted a little bit of detail and put on, so I've just got a little uh, Bezdia? Bezdia? Nordic clock? I don't know what it's called, but he wanted one, so I've done one. Yeah, engraving into my strong point, but I've done a pretty good job, I think. Yeah, so I've done this, got it sold. So first things first, we sat my welding helmet to grind. So I don't want to go blind, so I've got this. I've got myself this lovely scarf piece to keep the steel out my beard. Keep the steel out my beard, because you see, every day that I come grinding, I go home and I have to shampoo my beard, and it's getting extreme. Yeah, my beard is not doing well. The posh shampoos that you can use every day and don't ruin your beard, expensive. The cheap shampoos that I don't mind paying for to wash my beard every day ruin my beard. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't seem to be a middle ground, so I'm assuming, I'm hoping, you know, fingers crossed, everything crossed, crossed my legs, crossed my heart, hope to die, whatever. I hope I haven't got to shampoo my beard today because I shampooed it yesterday, I shampooed it the day before. Every day that I've had to come and grind, I've had to shampoo my beard. And shampoo, man, I'm running out of shampoo. It's got the grinder, I'm all safe, get going. What am I doing? What am I doing? I haven't checked if I can just hit this off yet. Then again, I don't want to. Great enough. Let's be smart about it, though. Do it either way, chop it straight through. That sounds like a good idea. nice and tight. Make sure the safety's off. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling because this should have fell off by now. If it was attached the way I thought it was attached, this should have fallen off. But it hasn't. I've chopped right through there and I've chopped right through there. It was attached like that. You know what held it on? Surface rust. It's bad stuff, surface rust. It pretends it's glue. It pretends it's a weld. It holds things together. That's the wrong way. So there we have it. Gone. Scrap bin. Maybe it'll turn into something a year down the line. So honestly, this a year ago was bin food. But now it's the future. So I don't know whether to grind up one side and then just peel it open. I'm going to do that. Grind up one side and peel it over. The name of my book. I could write a book, you know. I don't think anyone would read it. I don't think anyone would be able to read it. So my writing is illegible. Yeah. If you ever need to get me to sign a document, just trust that I've signed my own name. My handwriting is abysmal. Yeah. But it is what it is. Handwriting's abysmal, yet when I engrave a name, perfection. You know. You make it art, I can do it. Just write down a sentence. The cat 
sat on the mat. Kind of there. Done, you, you, you can't read it. I could write the book. I could write reams and reams. Hieroglyphics, though. That's the problem. That's the problem. Get green. Getting hot in here. I don't want to knock on my you close the couch. I am getting so hot. I'm going to take my metal clothes off. Mr. B. Tiny Smidge. That's how much I miss. Would have think I'd be in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. I can take my time on this. I mean, I've got to have it ready to upload it tomorrow, so I can't take the sweet ass time on it. Let's be serious. That's the sweet ass. I mean, it's a really foodie, stinky booty, but it's a sweet ass. Got a nice one. It's one of the great things I was given as a kid. Sweet ass. Cutting the other side. I've got about seven hundred cutting discs now. I was running low, I had about four or five left, and I thought I can only really do a couple of projects with four or five cutting discs. If I want to do a big project, I can barely do a big project with four or five cutting discs. So I ordered some, and now I'm at about seven hundred. Yeah. So where you got them? Use them. Chop it. Yeah. Give you all this. Don't, don't, don't bother. Just don't bother with all this. Let's grind it. There we go. And she's off. Yeah. It's a little protective collar from when it was a pickaxe. Not needed. Scrap bin. I like the fact I've got scrap bins. I've got bins under the. I haven't got bins. I've got crates. I've got wooden crates handmade by myself under the bench. One's got all of me square tube in and me round tube, it's a tube one. One's got all of me flat plate, me steel plate in. I've got a bit of stainless in there, I've got a bit of mild steel in there, I've got a bit of bits and bobs. Then I've literally got the bits and bobs one, which is just full of scrap. I mean, at the moment, I've got this very nice underbench vase, which is missing a bit. Yeah, and I've searched online and I cannot find the bit and I can't figure out what the bit was supposed to do to make the bit. So right now, I don't have an underbench vase. I've got a bit of scrap that looks like an underbench vase. That will maybe one day be turned into, in weight, an underbench vase. Who thought it was possible? Yeah, who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? So we're just going to get this off. Bye bye to the little flappy uh, cutting disc. Get myself a flappy with barely a day's worth of life left in it. Honestly, if this plucky disc got coronavirus, the NHS wouldn't even put it on life support. It's on its way out. Yeah. Sorry if that's insensitive. Um, but it is what it is. So I'm going to get this all trimmed back, get it looking pretty, and then when the time comes to actually handle, I'll be able to get it shaped properly. Just going to get the original wedge out there. How interesting would it be if I used the original wedge? I mean, it's doomed, so I'm not going to, but imagine if I did. It'd be very cool. Yeah, I'm just going to check this up. Oh, yes. 
That would be lovely. That would be lovely. Yeah. I can afford to take a couple of mil. Maybe a mil collectively from around this section. But you know what it is? I can put a big wedge in and everything will be fine. I'm going to get this trimmed up. Look at all nice. I'm not even going to bother. I'll bother them with the price. Free hand it. Why they pay so much? I mean they don't. They should. Why they should pay so much? There we have it. So I've trimmed off all the nastiness that's all ready to get burnt. You know, I've got my little torch in there. Just burn it off, get a little bit of sand on it, and stain it. Well, not stain it, you oil it, you oil it. So I don't know quite how much you can see, yeah? But I've got the design marked out on the axe, yeah? So this is going to be the line that I chopped, this thick white line. I had it a bit higher, but this didn't look thick enough, so I brought it down a bit. That looks nice and beefy and plenty to support the blade. Yeah, I've then also went and done this with me design. So this is what I need to add on to it and I quite like the look of that. So I'm just going to chop this line and then up this line to meet it. So just up this section to where it's going to be thickest. Then I'll do all of this profiling a bit more delicately. So it's just thick and heavy, cut through it, get the meat of this off, yeah? And then bringing it over, I can see just by pressing down on my paper mould where the cut-off line is yeah, of how much steel I need to be adding so that's going to be there so this will be added in yeah. so the original plan of cutting all of this off isn't going I've checked this, it's very hard stuff, it's very nice so I'm going to chop a little bit out of here just to add it in get it brought in and then when we come down, cut this section out, get that welded on. It's all going to be nice and heavy. And I've only used this much of my steel, which is always a bonus. If you use a little bit less steel to get the same effect, happy days. So welcome to the crotch cam. This is my crotch. I hope I don't set any of it on fire today. I mean, it's been a very long time since I set fire to my crotch, but it has happened. And it's never a fun experience. That's the time when you're working on something that's the time you're like i'll put the fire out then finish what i'm doing if you set your arm on fire or something you just keep working it's your arms fine if you set something close to your penis on fire you're like let's put the fire out guys let's let's not bother with the work right now let's put the fire penis out the penis fire fire penis fire penis sounds fun actually it doesn't magical powers of a fire penis sounds interesting but a penis on fire doesn't yeah but I'm going to get this cut out, I'm going to get to work on this, and it should be good. So I think that's as much of the work I can get done from this side, so it's time to get it unclamped. Turn it over, mark it out, we'll be able to do this side. Where did I put up? Where's that thin wall when I put it down? I have a square. Where is my square? Square! There it is. There it is. So you can see, chopped all the way through to up here. We're just a little bit shy, but I've got a hacksaw in the shed. I'll be able to finish that a little bit off to keep it nice and tight. I don't want to go too far and ruin the piece. We'll just check that square against here, that's still very square. We'll check that we kept this square. That's still very square. So the idea now is we will be chopping as close to this bend as we can without having gone into the bend. So we'll chop down there. We'll mark across here so that we can see where the line is. Yeah. In fact, extend this to the top. We'll mark across there as well. 
so we can see where that lane is. And everything marks up square, hunky dory. So we know where we need to chop to, and we'll just get all of this chopped out. So I think we might go in here. Yeah, we'll do this side first, and we'll go back and do the rest in one. So I clamped to the frame of the bench, not just the, the tabletop, so that it's going nowhere. It's great. Am I even still filming? I'm still filming, Dan, get back into view. Get back into view, Dan, you're still filming. Just cut it, we cut it. So uh, we chopped it off for uh, for uh, something burning. Am I burning? It's me crotch now. <laughs> something looked like it was burning. I saw smoke. There's no smoke without fire unless you're on Bear Grylls the island. That's as far as we're getting with the grinder for those that didn't hear us over the giant planter and metal. Old school, ready to go. And there we have it. Beautiful job. What a beautiful job. Just a little bit. Welcome back to Crotch Cotton, where nobody's crotch is going to catch fire today. Fingers crossed, everything crossed. Crossed me half up to not catch fire on my penis. this bit done. Honestly, I'm thinking, right, I was going to be using all of this, I'm not going to be anymore. How much of this plate do I actually need to chop up? Can I just use the nasty end? Get the design, get the iron shavings off the design. What a big yellow pen. Need a bit that big. Bit that big. Honestly, where's my scissors? Let's cut this out, eh? This is what we're left with, this is what I'm going to be attaching, a bit this big, like I've done a bit of a bad job cutting it out because I was using a stencil and knife, but you know, it doesn't even have a sharp blade, it's for biting into a bit of stuff. but it is what it is, this is what I have, this is what I've used, because my scissors are in the house, and that's like four foot away, didn't want to, don't want to go that far, so far, There. And this, of course, here. Yeah. Cut down there. That right there. Just the bottom of my axe. Well, the bottom of her axe. Which will then be the bottom of his axe, because it's a present. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the girl that's ordered this for letting me film this, because obviously she might not have wanted it on. I'm not going to say her name, because then the bloke might figure out who it's for. I obviously can't say the bloke's name, because then he really might figure out who it's for. I don't even know if he's ever heard of me, never mind my channel. 
but we are the things that happen. Yeah? So I'm gonna get this cut out. And I'm there. I love it. I'm so cool. Let's get it cut. Let's get it cut. with angle grinder successfully cut something out to do welding fabricate. Even though he's not a welding fabricator. Fabulous weld that will have It's like the paint are being proud that he can use Crayola. Still an achievement. Get this done. Ooh. Upside down check. Left plenty of meat on it so that I can get that line in properly. Got an overhang at the back so I can get that line in properly. Everything's just power like it. Yeah, so I can go ahead and get this welded on. I'm going to put a bit of a chamfer into both of them so that I get a nice deep weld. So I don't want this popping off. And everything will be gravy. And this little cutting disc was full going to the putting this heaven in the sky or whatever in the, the farm. It's going to the farm. All oh, that's happening and it's going to the farm. I told my friend, I can't even remember what it was. I was just like, you know, it's went to the farm. He's like, you bought a farm? My nan bought a farm, mate. It's died, you know? Something dies, you know, someone's dog dies when they're a kid. You don't tell them the dog's died, see it's went to live on a farm. It's going to chase the bunnies round, all that sort of stuff, and they believe it, yeah? If anyone's watching this and you're a grown adult, and you had a childhood pet that went to live on a farm, like, right, I'm here for you, you know? Hit the comment section, give us your number, I'll get, I'll get in touch, we'll email, we'll, we'll Facebook, we'll, we'll connect. Yeah, we'll connect, I can support you through this terrible ordeal if I know your parents didn't send that dog to no farm. The dog's not alright man. The dog is not alright. But anyway, I'll do this. I'm talking about dead dogs. Nothing's died except the cutting disc. But you know, it 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 led a full life. Look what it's made. Look what it's support what look what it's birthed into this world. It, it had a proud life. That's what I need to do. Bacon funeral for all the cutting discs, yeah? We'll just make a little wooden boat and we'll send them off and just stand now the North Sea and burn them. Bit of petrol. So that's all the welding done for now that I believe. I've got it nice and flush, everything's going nicely. I'll be able to get this ground in, I'll be able to get the weld ground back, I'll be able to get this bit weld air ground just so that it's a nice smooth arc. Hit it with a flappy, get all the rust, surface rust off all the rest of it. I'll smarten up this bit so that it's not all uh, mushroomed out. And we'll have a lovely accent, you can see it already. Beautiful. Yeah, it's rough, but this is where we will find it. I'll get that. So that's all the rough grinding done. It's taken shape. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it's going to be cool as anything. Yeah, and it's a little bit rough across the top, 
but that's when the flappy disc comes in yeah so i'm going to hit the entire thing with a flappy disc because as you can see there's a lot of work on this side that's all got to be ground back there's less work on this side because i kept it flush with the with the angle of the original axe but every inch of it's got to be stripped back to nice shiny polished steel yeah because then once that's all stripped back and I put it on the handle, my video's done, then all I've got to do is engrave the name along here, and I'm finished, yeah? Maybe I'll engrave the name across the back. Then that way someone might not hit it with a hammer when he gets his hands on it, yeah? But I'm, I'm near in completion, so I'm going to hit the grey, get the flappy disc on this, get it all ground back. Bish, bash, bosh, bobs your uncle, it's real good nosh. Well, it's not. It's an axe, but it's real good axe. Bish, bash, bax, real good axe. So the handling process is very very simple so this cut the size that's ready to get the, the, the axe head is ready to be put on uh, i'm going to sort myself a little wedge to keep it on snug the decoration for the, the handle itself is umami yeah so i'm going to burn it with my little beauty and torch here i'm going to burn the entire length of it i've got my left glove on because this is going to get hot i've got my right glove on because this is going to get cold yeah, so I'm going to burn it, then I'm going to get a bit of sandpaper, sand off the worst of the burning, uh, seal it with a bit of the uh, ground nut oil that I've rendered, get that so get that sealed, get the handle on, uh, get the axe head on, even, sorry, get that all knocked in, and I'm finished for the day, yeah? I need to uh, engrave a name onto it, back, back uh, behind the scenes, um, but that's not much, you know? That's not going to take us a great deal of time. I'm going to send a couple of ideas over to the, the girl that's uh, getting it. Uh, and then I'll be finished. So I'd, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. One day. One day, one build. Love it. So I can already see the comments coming about what's just about to happen, yeah, but sadly it is what it is and it looks like what it looks like. I'm not in control of that, I didn't mean, 
but this is the way you sand it off. Yeah, but it is. I didn't decide it was so, but this is the easiest way. So I'll just sit here and stroke my uh, handle. Uh, on the internet, you know, so I can't get good grip with my glove on, so we'll just get a bit of a uh, good roll going, and we'll just sand some of it off. And as I say, I didn't invent this technique, I, you know, this is the easiest way to sand something that's uh, phallic. I mean round, round shape, round shape, uh, and you just give it a bit of a stroke, you know, you don't want to go too hard on it, you don't want to go too soft, you'll just like the, 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 the Goldilocks and the three pairs, you want it just right, yeah, you just want to take the top off, somewhere in the middle of getting it back to bare wood and keeping it black. Yeah. And you just sand it up. There you go. I think this is just enough to get it a really tough. It's what we want, yeah? It's what we want. We want it to pop. So we'll get our rag that I was grinding in earlier. Give it a little dust off. We'll refold this bad boy up so that we've got a bit of cleanness going on. We'll get a lovely ground nut oil that has been rendered. Give it a good glob. Ooh, yeah. it's horrible. Horrible looking stuff. But for this, it's perfection. Absolute perfection. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. That is one good looking handle. So we've just got to hit every bit of it and this will seal the wood. It'll keep the wood from rotting. We'll give the, the axe head a little bit of treatment with it. It'll stop that from rusting to a certain degree. Because it's just steel, it's not stainless, I'm not doing that, I'm not that crazy, it's just a tool, yeah? It's either a tool or it's decorative, yeah? And if it's decorative, it's not going to get wet, and if it's a tool, it doesn't matter that it gets a bit rusty. So we just seal it a little bit. In reality, I could heat this, uh, this axe head, but I'm not going to be. Just give it a little glob. I'm going to get it all over this once I've got a glove on because I don't want this stuff on my hands. Beautiful. What a lovely job. There we go. Oh, baby. So, the axe head's finished, the handle's finished. I'm going to handle this myself off camera because it's always a little bit finicky and I don't want to show off how in it I am. I'm just going to tap this on. And there we go. For all intents and purposes, that's the finished product. Yeah, and I love it. I love it. I want one. I want three. I want three. I want one for the shed, I want one for the house, and I want one for. I don't know, the allotment, yeah? See that coming at you, whew! It's dangerous. But, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do believe that is everything. It should be the end of the video, I have no idea. Um, but thanks for watching. I'm going to do this, I'll take some glamour pictures, I'll add them in at the end, and I'll see you next week. Yeah, I'm going to try and upload every Saturday. I've been doing it consistently for a little while now. I've been, since I've came back, it's been a video a week, you know, I've kept up with that. Uh, recently it's been consistently on a Saturday, 
uh, keep an eye out on Saturdays for my new videos. I mean, if you if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified. Uh, my fiance actually lies in bed next to us as I publish, and she gets the little ding on her phone that just says he's uploaded. It's ready. You can watch it. Yeah. If not, I'm going to share it every week on my page, on my personal Facebook, and obviously YouTube will share it with everybody that's subscribed and gets notifications from us. But as for now. That's me. I hope you've had a fantastic week in lockdown, getting ready for it, uh, getting ready for it lifting. And I'll see you next week. Peace.